Um, I'm going to present Dynamics 365 Human Resources. Uh, this is a solution that is not known around, the, or not so well known around the Microsoft community and environment. I'm uh, really advocate into this solution and I really love it. And if you follow me on Twitter or LinkedIn, you will find out that I talk a lot about this and my blog is all about this. So uh, if later on you have any question or doubt or if you want to know anything deeper into the solution, let me know and we will talk about that. So, who am I? I'm Ana Inés Urrutia. I'm sure you can't pronounce my name properly. Um, I'm from Uruguay, but I'm living in Spain. So, I'm here uh, just for the weekend. And I'm a 365 HR practice manager at a company that's called Axosure um, in Spain. I recently started that, that um, role, so I'm really excited. And that's my Twitter handle, so feel free to, show, uh, to follow me or send me a message if you want to. I'm a psychologist, and I, I don't know how I ended up here, uh, but I made my, my, my journey to, uh, to IT. So, um, the idea around this, this session is to, well, well real thank you for the sponsors. <laughs> Um, the idea of the sessions, I took this for, from a report. Um, the there's a need of um, most of it to improving employee experience in the companies, and we've seen that a lot during the pandemic year and, well, more than a year. And luckily for us, there's a solution that can help us, talking with other Microsoft solutions, to improve not only employee experience, but also HR experience, and it's, it's not quite good. We have, um, well, we're gonna see now the, the challenges around HR, but we have lots of challenges, and um, there's a lot of work to do with this, with, in this field. So, um, the thing is, well, let's talk about HR. The thing is that we have a few challenges. Uh, we have, if you ever work with HR, if you want to work with an HR department, or in a project with them, you know that they have several, several uh, different systems and they work in very, they don't connect the data. So that what happens is that they, they are not working smartly. They have lots of challenges uh, trying to cross data and extract information around what's going on. So that's why, that for us is not good. Um, it's also, Something that I didn't put in here but that I always face when I go to a client is the mindset. Um, usually HR tends to focus more in the UX, not in the solution. So that's something that when we show dynamics, we have that, that issue. Uh, so it's kind of change management, some the, the work that we need to do. So we also have low employee engagement as something that's always happened. Uh, that's currently trying to improve uh, at the moment, but that's, that's a challenge as well. We don't have visibility. Um, if you work in a company and you ever needed to work with HR, I'm sure you went through the, through the stage where you have no idea how's your request looking like, if it's uh, evolving or not. Um, managers that work with HR and need to um, work in a recruitment process, for example, have no idea how's everything going. So there's no visibility from HR. Sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> there's no visibility from HR to the rest of the company, so that's usually a challenge and a fight. Well, and the disconnected HR system may have to see a data that's not cross, and we can take any any decision based on uh, no data analyzed. So, luckily for us, we have a set of solutions. I'm going to focus on my beloved HR, but we have a set of solutions that is very nice to make the experience better uh, for HR, for employees, and for managers. So, we have Dynamic HR that is based on data, and it's people-centric HR. This is a solution that I loved 
Uh, to be honest, I was part of human resources in a company I needed to start implementing the solution and somehow I, I never want to go back to HR, uh, now I'm here. Um, and I fell in love with it, and there was a person who helped me a lot with, 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 with the process. <laughs> Malin was my mentor, and she helped me understanding why or how we can do stuff. I also tried to figure out some things that we were not sure. Even product team is not sure. <laughs> but <laughs> we're, we're sure. Uh, we, we're, we're making our, our way. The NFHR has suffered a lot of, of changes in the, recent, I mean, in the past two years. We were talent. Uh, now we are HR, now HR is going back to the same infrastructure that it is now, so it's going to be kind of, there's going to be some news uh, out there, <laughs> we're trying to make things work. But finally, we hope this change is the one that's going to um, make a solution uh, stronger, and now the, the app is going to be connected with other FNL apps, so that's, that's going to be nice. So, uh, maybe some of you have seen this, uh, this is a very nice, um, yeah, present uh, image of how the solution can help us during the life cycle that includes employee, even if it has some gaps, uh, managers and HR pros. Um, the solution, just for you to know, it's, it's meant to um, come uh, to gather the entire life cycle of the employees, but it's not um, including recruitment. So if you go to a client and you offer the solution, you will you will need to come up with our power platform or something else around um, an ATS, an uh, African tracking system. It doesn't has on, it doesn't have on board as well. Uh, on board, it it was part of the past solution that we had a talent, but. The nice thing is that luckily we have Microsoft Viva that is coming to life and it's going to make our life really easier with that, with onboarding and with learning. So I'd like you to, to go out of the session knowing what is HR and also what, what's gonna, um, what other solutions can we um, integrate and um, make a nice solution. So we have it, uh, this is not only for employees but for managers and for HR, HR is able to manage the entire processes in the company for leave, for benefits, for compensation, not payroll, that's another question that we have a lot. <laughs> we don't do payroll, we're not going to do it, it's not in the roadmap. Um, and it's not going to happen. <laughs> not that's not try anymore, it's not for well, yeah, <laughs> lots of times. <laughs> um, yeah, but the main, the main processes around HR are solved with this. Of course, every company has like every um, any specification that they need to cover, and well, you need to de develop something or make something custom. But um, in terms of general processes, it covers everything very well. Then we have the managers, and the managers. One of the things I have seen in my years as HR um, is that managers are not always as um, I don't know how to put this, but they don't like to own their processes and their people. So it's kind of challenging when you present when you when you don't have the, the tools to support that processes. So for example, using Dynamics 365 HR, um, they can approve or, or deny uh, or cancel any requests that the employees have in a very nice and easy. Um, platform that is the employees of the managers of service, they can cancel, um, like for example, leave requests, or yeah, they can also review the employees. So if they want to keep per, uh, track of the performance, they can do it from there. So there is no more excuses for them not to use a system because now they have it. And finally, uh, what what I like the most uh, for for employees is that we have like full set of. Um, yeah, we have, it's very similar to managing some service, but we have this, a full set, set of uh, possibilities with this, with this portal because they can access their information, they can update you as employees, you can update your own data. Um, I wasn't used to that before, I need to send an email, and that was hor horrible, horrible. So, um, we can not only change our information, but also upload uh, attachments if we want to, 
and keep track of our process, our life cycle in the, in the company. So it's, it's good. Um, I think it's a good solution. I, I really believe it. <laughs> Those who know me know that. I am <laughs> really, really passionate about it. It still has some gaps. Um, we can discuss it later, so if, if the session is it's not gonna, yeah, I mean, it's already 10 minutes. Um, <laughs> but feel free to grab me around and we can we can have a, a talk about the gaps and so on. So I, I have this like very short slides, they're really similar from the ones that you can find on the web page, but this is one of the things that I like the most about the Transport Ring of Play experience because we have a human, um, we have a, an application that we can load in our teams that should be connected to a tenant on Dynamics HR. And you, as an employee, can request time for from the same place you are working. So you, you're chatting with a friend and we're a colleague, and then you send a request for your leave, and your manager gets it and can approve it. So it's kind of nice, it's very easy to implement. For now, I think it's free. Yeah. It's free. So it's, it's very nice. Um, uh, we're, we're using it in my company at the moment and um, everyone's really happy, so happy that I think that the balances are going to be a nightmare in a couple of days. Uh, they're even a lot. But yeah, it's kind of a good and it's a very like tiny thing, but not making sure people it's not going from one system to the other. And that's a very, very nice thing from a solution. Providing them a portal to upload, upload and edit all the information that they have and also understand the role that they have in the company, uh, I think it makes a lot of an employee experience. So that's the first one. The fourth. This is a, the second one is optimize HR programs. What you're seeing here is a monitor absence calendar. What I meant to with optimize HR programs is to make sure you're providing the right platform to, to manage all the information around your employees. So as you can see here, I don't know if you, I don't know all of your backgrounds, but um, HR usually has a lot of systems as I told you before. And the thing that we can have, for example, I don't do anything. We have, we can have leave and absence, benefits, compensation, employee development, all that programs in one system is kind of nice because we don't need to switch from one place to the other. Um, yeah, that's it. We, we can have all the information around over there and this is a very nice functionality that is quite new. This is absence calendar and absence manager is able to see all the absence from the team that has been assigned. And um, I, I work in the project, so I, I work in with Microsoft in this project, so I'm really, Proud of it, um, but yeah, it's a very nice solution, and I think it's 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 good to have all in one place. No more Excel. No more Excel. It <laughs> looks like, but all right. The third one is about increasing um, organization agility. What you what you're seeing here, it's a main dashboard for personal management. It's a very single. Uh, sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Um, it's a very like. It's the dashboard that HR people will access anytime they go through the platform. As you can see, it's, I know it's very simple. I know it is. But coming from HR, for me, it was impossible to find out, for example, how many persons, how many um, are employees, how many are contractors. I had an Excel, and to count that, I mean, it was a nightmare, as well as the other positions and anything else. We do have, um, I mean, working in a an HR team working with this kind of solution will be able to work, I think, smarter, I think, smarter and um, faster, because it, it, it's everything in one place. So uh, in that in that sense, I mean, it's it's a good it's good to to have it. In the last one, because this is the last one, because I love it, I, I, I love it so much. My boss is not too happy that I love it so much, but. Um, and it's very wish that went out from this. And, yeah. um, this is a uh, Power BI. It's nice to know that uh, Dynamics HR has lots of BIs in back. So if you if before developing something, uh, make sure it's already there. We have lots of um, analytics for all the system process that I told you before, like leave analysis, compensation, benefits, 
um, I could carry on, but there's for everything there's there's a there's a VR. Of course, it needs some work. Of course, it needs. And if you want something very detailed, you can work um, and and get it. But it's kind of nice that you can have it's, it's just one click. You can have all this information uh, in one place. One thing that I always say in my when I speak is that. Um, of course, this information depends on how well HR is using the solution. So that's the part where we, as consultants, or the role that we're having, uh, we should be sure of um, letting the people know. Because, of course, we will, will absorb the information that we're providing it. So that's the fourth like, track about why HR is important for me, and I think for the clients as well. The next slide is about the Microsoft Solutions for HR. Um, Microsoft Solutions for HR, you can see here that we have a few. I'm missing a lot, I'm missing a lot. I'm missing, for example, Viva. Um, well, I think Viva, so not, not that much. Okay, so we have HR. I think you put a, a very nice article together around Microsoft for HR. Yeah. I'm branding my old stuff. So. Uh, yeah, I, I remember that. Um, so we have HR, as I've been talking the entire day. Uh, we have LinkedIn. LinkedIn has been acquired from Microsoft. I, I have bittersweet feelings with that because they, they don't uh, tend to work together, they don't talk to each other. So it's if you are planning to do something, integrating the solutions, um, prepare for the worst. Now, not the worst, but prepare for some challenges because they are not going to reply, they are not going to talk to each other, so it's going to be terrible. We have Teams and Microsoft 365. Of course, we have Workplace Analytics. If someone sees this, I should put Viva here because this is going to transition to Viva. Um, Viva's going to fill a lot of gaps around human resources, so we're gonna, I think we're going to have a very strong solution now. And of course, Azure and SharePoint. Um, to <laughs> um, yeah, that's that. I wanted to deliver a presentation around challenges in HR and how we can solve them with Dynamic 365. Um, I hope you enjoyed the presentation. I, if you have any questions, well, that's again my Twitter handle. Feel free to write to me or chase me or yeah, I'll be around. Um, if you have any questions, we have a few minutes. Not too much, but uh, yeah. So, so what happened to talent? They duplicated. They acquired LinkedIn and they realized that the cost, the, the talent was too um, cheap compared to LinkedIn, that provides right. the same solution. So they just need each channel. Yeah. got LinkedIn and HR. And, and the a HR originally came out of finance and operations, didn't it? Yeah. Is that where it's ended up again now? It's going to end up there, yeah. But you can still buy it like a standalone application. Yeah, okay. But the HR part, or what is now HR was the core HR part from talent. Yeah. So it's still the same thing. It's just they duplicated their recruiting and the onboarding apps. So what is left is still the same as it was. And yes. So they core just, HR. Because, because the screens look very F and O like. Yes. Yes. It's it's very very yeah. relaxed. But they don't they don't have the, the, the nice thing that's gonna happen with the merge of the yes. infrastructure is that a lot of functionalities that we have here in HR yeah. are gonna be available in F and yeah. the other way around. So I think the other way around. Yeah, yeah. 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 it's yeah. gonna be one one application. Yeah, um, there is a lot of extensibilities that you have in the F and world mm -hmm. that you don't have in HR that you now will have in uh, in HR as well. Because they're merging. And I, I think, I'm sorry, I'm like, oh, that's okay. <laughs> but I think that the reason why they tried uh, to move it over to Dataverse was to see and test can we actually put the ERP functionalities over in Dataverse uh, and have that as our database. And then they saw, oh, no, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 
it's just operations just, runs on a node after it, it's, right? It's just just so so different, yeah. And, and they tried to yeah, talk to the manager, they, they yeah. tried to take out, yeah, let's take this small thing, it's not going to have to do anything, let's just try and push that in Dataverse. Yeah. And they pulled it out and the whole thing collapsed and oh, no, put it back, no, no, <laughs> touch that. Yeah. Okay, so the next thing. And they were just, yeah, so that I think they did. Yeah, yeah. That, that's why there's there there's a lot of back and forth with this whole thing. So I tried out I, I tried out a bit much more than than the team, mm -hmm. than my team. I, I mean, if you see my if you see my Twitter and my blog, I'm all over the place around HR. I'm very passionate about that. But yeah, to go this back and forth, it's kind of difficult to to stand out. I mean, to to back up a solution. It's really really complicated. Keep trying, keep trying. How does the competition compare? Is it? Microsoft getting ahead now, or is it still no? Still quite a big yeah. Don't no. don't compare. Yeah. Yeah. Well, maybe a bit for Microsoft in terms of Microsoft being better. Or no, 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 no. 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 Okay. Don't want to. Uh, I guess products like Workday. Yep. For the competition. I mean, the the, the what I what I said in the first part is that. HR. If you work with an HR and user, they are very, very likely to um, focus on uh, UX. So Workday has an amazing UX. So they enter and they can do everything. It looks nice. So that the, the the main focus. So it's that's the thing. If if I do you Adam on on HR, um, and then someone comes with Workday or something else, I think they are going to win. So uh, we should be prepared for, for that kind of scenarios. Yeah. If you talk to IT, they will be like, oh, yes, we're fitting Microsoft because we know Microsoft and we know yeah. the tech and we know how yeah. to work with that. So, so where is the data stored now? The magical FNO world. <laughs> so uh, back in the FNO, you see the SQL of your data. So well, from I think the first or second quarter of 22. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. now it's now halfway. It's, now it's still it's on his way back. Yeah. It's funny. Exactly, yeah. yeah. One of the things, one of the arguments that I like to put on the table when I go to a client is to share that this is not Microsoft solution. You work in a Microsoft environment. You shouldn't go out to, to, to implement something that is not part of your ecosystem. So this could be easily integrated with all the solutions that you already have um, compared in cooperation with some other products. So yeah, that's my go to to put on the table. Oh, with that, we're done. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, <laughs>